Hey everybody, my name is Evan Williams. We're here at the Hoy booth at ATA in Indianapolis 2018. Uh, we're here to introduce the new Redworks Carbon Series line. Um, this line does come in three different options. So you have an RX-1, it's a 32 axle axle, six inch brace height, shooting 340 feet per second. This particular one is our turbo model. It's a 32 axle axle, five and seven eighths brace height at 350 feet per second. And we also have the Carbon RX-1 Ultra. 35 inch axle to axle, six inch brace height, shooting 330 feet per second. Two new colors we added this year uh, is the Kuyu Verde 2.0, as well as the Sitka Sub Alpine. A couple new things that you're gonna see. Uh, first off is our new cable system. It's a patent pendant system. It works in conjunction with the new ZT Hypercam. The roller system is now an inline, so we've moved the ZT system that has traditionally been as our roller system into our cam with a 3D modeling shift. So what happens is as the cable loads up during the draw cycle, the cable is actually shifted from the outer to the inner position, so there's no cam translation. The entire draw cycle is a vertical cam, so there's no cam lane. There's no need for a movable cable guard whatsoever. Uh, the other thing that you're going to notice is a new grip, both in mold and style as well as grip location. Uh, it's a lower grip geometry, gives you better tuning, better performance and aero delivery, as well as a new co-molded grip. This is our exact. What it is, is it's the perfect combination between the hunting ergonomic grip we've had in the past and a target grip. So it's thinner through the throat and it still has the ergonomic cutouts. We've added a rear stabilizer mounting location this year. Still the modular system, so each cam family has an adjustable range. Uh, the RX-1 is going to go from 24 and a half to 28 in the number two cam. The number three cam is gonna cover 27 to 30, and your number three cam is going to cover 28 to 31 inches in a 32 inch axle axle bow. So the, the big shift in carbon technology isn't necessarily the, the components or how the bow is built. Um, we've went from a hollow carbon tube design to a hollow carbon helical design. Uh, so what that is is we actually have three different shapes and sizes through the entire riser. So we are able to layer and change both size of tubing um, and engineer this riser to specific flex patterns depending on what cam system we're running, how much speed we're running, uh, what kind of limb and cable system we have on it. So we can engineer this boat to perform and, and shoot, tune, and everything the way we want it to based on the components that are built with. Um, with, the, with the new grip technology, shifting the, the geometry, adding the, the back bar mount for those guys that, that want to change the back weight and balance, um, we still have a shock pod reduction system on the lower, so instead of um, inline in the head of the riser, so in your limb pocket, we've shifted everything to the bottom. What that's done is that's actually created a lower balance weight, so the top of the bow is lighter, the bottom of the bow is heavier, so when that geometry, that grip is shifted, overall bow balance is still near perfect. Okay, a lot of traditional bows that have that lower geometry, as soon as you shoot them, they want to roll away. With this one, with the lower weight and all that addition that's added uh, in the machining of the lower limb pocket, you still get that perfect balance system that Hoey is known for. So it's a lot easier, it, again, it comes back to tunability and shootability. Um, with a lower grip, you actually get center geometry for your arrow knocking point. So you're exactly between both points of the upper and lower part of the limb so you get better arrow delivery better tuning and it's a lot more quote unquote shootable okay so doesn't matter if you have a lot of thumb side pressure if you have a lot of knuckle into the bow um, you can wrap around it's much more forgiving in the setup of the build